Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard. This is episode number 77 of season 4 and today we've got a lot of exciting news. We're going to look at the new events coming to WWE Supercard. Last Man Standing. Of course, as soon as they put Last Man, you could already guess what the tease was going to be for today. So, what's going to happen guys? This is me guessing, but again, this is... Um, let's say a guess that I'm very confident that it will happen. Um, this is why they're doing the Flash RD, which you can see the preview of already now. There you go. Starts in 6 hours, 15 minutes. Um, then we'll have the TRD, and then the next event will be the Last Man Standing event. This brand new event, and it looks a little bit like it's going to be something like PCC used to be. It's not going to be exactly PCC because they would have just put us, P they've just given us PCC. So it's going to be interesting. Um, looking forward to it. It's been so long in the making, this new event. We've needed one for so long now. So that's awesome. So I'm going to give you guys a quick um, up to date look on where we're at in the heroic road to glory. We're doing well. 260 um, on the boost, on the heroic upgrade. So another 30 points to go. Um, I've literally just finished my plus sixes now. I literally can't win any more plus sixes. Um, I'm, li I'm just facing... I don't know why they're still in plus, but I feel like they've got six, seven uh, pros. But I'm, I've, I'm extremely happy of how much I've been able to plus six. I did a plus two at around 230, 240, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try plus six. This guy, this guy doesn't have many games, and I, you know what? I won it. So I kept doing some. I kept winning them actually quite, quite, you know, quite easily as well. To be fair. Um, and I literally stopped, uh, I think it was, I played two plus two games uh, just just before so I could get myself to a nice rounded 260. Um, and there we go. So now we have got another 15 plus two games to play. So I'll get that done later on on stream. Um, yeah, but right now though, I am uh, I'm late. I need, to, I need to go do some English work. So what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to do a battleground pack. We're going to have a quick look on Twitter at the new update stuff. Um, and I'm going to quickly tell you guys who I got as my last pull. So reveal in 3, 2, 1. Boom. Nia Jax, your new Raw Women's Champion. So that's two females back to back. That's already more females than I didn't tighten to until like, you know, two months in. So yay. Um, battleground pack now. Let's do it. And then we'll have a look at everything on Twitter. Um, if I just get WWE Supercut up already there. Let's get on to this, so good win. I uh, just want to quickly see who did an attack in the background. Let me, yeah, let me guess. It's, it's always Captain. Um, but that's fine, because he does the battle plan, so he gets a pass. Um, but yeah, it was it was, it was was fine. It was an easy battleground, so that's cool. You know, no, we, didn't have, we didn't have to get 15k, but it'd be nice to get 15k every now and again. Um, okay. 0-3 or 0-4 I'm at, some, something like that, so, boom, yes, oh, it delayed reaction there, Woo! we got one, finally, let's freaking go, man, oh, if this puts me into plus, if this is a pro, that would be phenomenal, because that's really what I'm looking for, getting into plus plus for RD, oh, man, it, I was, it, it took me, it, it really did take me a second there, because I was like, uh, uh, yeah, this one, okay, cool, so, Dusty Roads to Pros, that's catalogue, so I'll take that, hopefully we get an Alexa Bliss monster, uh, Kyle O'Reilly, uh, Battle Points, and this is it, guys, this is where we get the WrestleMania 34, I literally do not care, as long as it's not Mark Henry, okay, if it's a pro, awesome, if it's a single, it's okay, because, just more singles at least, but please don't be Mark Henry. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing, but I will be crying very soon if it is. Let's do it, guys. Wow, I even I even did that too, and you... wow. Okay, I, I'm happy because I got one. But <laughs> Luke Gallows. Oh man, do I do I hate getting Luke Gallows? Uh... <laughs> I'll take it though. Fuck yeah. It's another one, another single, first one in a battleground pack, finally, you know what I mean, like, finally, I was getting really sick of not getting them, and if we go to combinables, Dusty Roads, there you go, he is a pro, 
So get them done for the catalogue as well. Awesome. So you guys can see below my combinables, it's been a long time since it's been like this. Just commons and uncommons in there. Because uh, of course I put one of the Mizzes in the Beast Fusion. So anyway, let's uh, let's not prolong this anymore. Boom! Twitter. Um, so if we look at th their first tweet. Last. Oh, you know, like... That was tease number one, all right? We all we all kind of had an idea that, that this is it. This is what the new new event's gonna be. Um, tweet number two, last man, boom! Everyone, you know, everyone predict lies. Last man standing. Everyone knew at this point. Last man standing. Um, and then of course, there you just have the confirmation of it. So yeah, last man standing. Um, it is going to be the new. Event, game mode, whatever you like to call them. It is it is going to be an event, not a game mode. It's not going to fit into the PvP cycle. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's going to fit its slot into the event category. Could be wrong, of course. But yeah, last man standing. Boy, am I happy. Finally, we get something new coming to the game. Um, we needed this. We really, really needed this. So I'm happy with it. Let me know, of course, what you guys think of it all down below in the comments. Also, let me know if you're in 34 and you have a 34 team. How many um, how many battleground packs have you have you gone without without a uh, without a rest money 34? So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go and crack on with this heroic road to glory. I will see you guys back for the end of this video in a couple of hours. Um, we'll go and finish off the road to glory, and all will be good. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the episode of WWE Supercard. We are two points away from going to complete this heroic road to glory. It's been a hell of a grind once again guys, but two points away. We are two hours, 30 minutes away, or two hours, 40 minutes away from Flash RD. So the grind never stops. As soon as this event's over, we've now got the next event coming out. Um, which is good because it's obviously a good sign. They never have flash events like this unless there's something coming to the game. And we all know what it is. Last man standing, the new event. We went through a bit of that at the beginning of the video, guys. Um, nothing uh, new so far on what that's going to entail, of course. But uh, if you did look at the patch notes for the update, uh, when the new tier came out, it said that it's going to be, you know, kind of like PCC pretty much, uh, if you read between the lines. So... Yeah, that of course I'm pretty sure is going to be debuting on this Thursday, um, so that's going to be really cool, it's going to be for a new event card, I, my guess is John Cena just because it's unbelievable that he doesn't have a 34 card, um, so that would be my guess, but you know, it, it, it's not necessarily John Cena, it could be anyone, Bobby Lashley would be pretty cool. Um, you know, uh, who else, who else do we have who's, um, I don't know, like, I don't know. Apart from Bobby Lashley and Cena, I, Undertaker, Poss, nah, he, he has a card in the tier, so, uh, what well, does he? No, yeah, no, he has a 34 card. Um, but yeah, um, my guess is John Cena, can't wait, I don't really care if Last Man Standing's, um, you know, better than RD or not. RD obviously being my favourite out of the two uh, events right now, just having something new is going to be so refreshing than the same old RTG RD. They have been going on about for a good year and a half now that I'm getting sick of it, so that's pretty awesome. That finally, uh, a little too late in my opinion, but I'm not going to be negative about it. I'm going to be positive about it. We got a new event coming out to the game. We have just finished the heroic upgrade for AJ Styles. Going to be going uh, attempting to get probably the heroic version of that tomorrow, uh, tonight, well today technically because it is now past midnight. Um, we're going to, of course, be attempting to un, um, un, un reveal, no, reveal the undercard, try and go for the AJ, and then, of course, tomorrow we'll, we'll go um, we'll go see if we can get the boost. Of course, double double picks on your shards, all that good stuff, so uh, it's going to be a lot easier. Let's go and have a look at AJ style stats. Let's say goodbye to RTG for some time, because we've got the new event coming up, and then I don't know what, what if, I don't know, maybe it'll be... Probably be RTG actually to get the pro of the next. On the, we'll have the last man standing for a single, I'm guessing, of the new event card, and then maybe RTG for the pro of it. But but for now, we're done. Goodbye RTG. You can you can properly f off. I am I am so <laughs> sick of Road to Glory, man. Um, let's have a look at this AJ Styles. 
I oh, know there he is, but I don't know where I was looking for that. Um, I really can't see much of a difference with the heroic applied and with it not, to be fair. Maybe it's just me not really paying attention. But yeah, there he is. Heroic AJ Styles. Uh, if we compare stat-wise, I don't think it's been applied. No, we need, I think we need to back out the game and come back in. Because um, if that if that's heroic applied, that's not very good. Let's uh, log out, log back in, and we'll end the episode once we have a look at stats. Um, and yeah, we are of course six hours away from getting ourselves into another battleground. Has this? Yeah, there you go. Now it's been applied. So it's a good 6k better than Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns is a good card in the tier. You know, he's good power toughness card. So 6,000 better in power. Um, 6,000 better in toughness. Um, 11,000 better in speed. And a good 7,000 better in, um, no, yeah, sorry, just under 7,000 in charisma. So, yeah, very, very good there. Um, will it be better than Daniel Bryan? I'm not too sure. I can quickly check, actually, for you guys if, uh, if you want me to do that. Well, if you want me to. I don't know if you want me to or not, but I'm just going to assume you guys do. So, let's have a look, a little stat comparison. Look at this Daniel Bryan and see how it compares with the AJ Styles. My guess is going to be they're going to be joined. And look at that, they are. Um... So AJ's got the better power, uh, Daniel Bryan has the better toughness, um, AJ has the better speed, and Daniel Bryan has the better charisma, so two stats each on those cards there, they're power speed and speed charisma, so it's, uh, yeah, make, make sense to be fair, doesn't it? They are both the best in, uh, in their respective uh, proc stats, so, uh, Actually, no, sorry, no, AJ's better in speed, never mind what I'm on about. It's toughness there, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Um, Stuff Rolly, of course, and Cedric, um, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, they don't, you know, they don't, they don't even, they don't get close, really, to AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan, but of course, they are a lot better than the regular cards in the tier. So, if you... I know a lot of people have been debating getting the cards or not in the Money in the Bank match because it's Cedric and Mustafa Ali and it's not Undertaker and, you know, um, another, another big name, you know, anyone, anyone who's big, Undertaker, John Cena, Undertaker, I don't, not just Undertaker, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, you know, Finn Balor and, and here Triple H or Ronda Rousey or Kurt Ang, you know, it's, it's Mustafa and Cedric, but that said, guys, try and look past who it is, realise how OP it will be to have these cards beginning of the tier. You will uh, dominate your King of the Rings, especially if you're going for event cards as well. Um, and you know, if you've been lucky enough to get a pro female, like some people out there, if you guys are watching this video, you know who I am talking about. Um, but yeah, just yeah, if some people are getting lucky in this tier, which I know there are. Um, that Mustafa and Cedric will just just fit in there, amazing, and literally will guarantee yourself some wins in the King of the Rings as long as you can stay up. Uh, and you know, charge, energize for them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, really looking forward to the next coming days in Supercard. The whole last man standing thing maybe coming on Thursday. So not yeah, the next week of Supercard. I'm looking forward to. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop the video like. Leave me a comment down below on this whole last man standing new event. Also let me know how many um, WrestleMania 34s you've got in your background pack since you've been in the new tier for background. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.